grade. All right, so this week we are going to be moving into 5MD.1. Still working on measurement conversions, but this time we're going to be working on customary capacity. So that's how much a container can hold. So we're going to be looking at fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Now there's a couple different like little mnemonic helpers that you can use for this. You can do the Allen Milk Man, Gallon of Bran, what can I hold in a gallon milk can, 4 quarts, 8 pints, 16 cups, whoops, 1, 2, 8 ounce jar clean up. So that'll give you an idea of a gallon is equivalent to 4 quarts, a gallon is equivalent to 8 pints, a gallon is equivalent to 16 cups, and a gallon is equivalent to 128 fluid ounces. So you can use that to kind of help you to gauge which one's larger and which one's smaller. So this kind of goes from larger to, this goes from larger to smaller in the Allen Milk Man poem, which is part of your unit's poem if you wanted to look at that one again. Another thing that you can use to help you know which one's large and which one's small is the Gallon Man little drawing helper. So in that, and I put a little video post in there what that would look like with a little gallon in the Land of Gallon story. You've probably heard this, I think fourth grade did this. So in, in the Land of Gallon there were four queens and each queen had a prince and a princess and each prince and princess had two cats and each of those cats had eight kittens. So that gives you an idea that there are eight fluid ounces in a cup and that there are two cups in a pint and that there are I'm going to be two pints in a quart, and there's going to be four quarts in a gallon. So that's going from, um, well, depending on how you say the poem, if you go from gallon all the way to ounces, that's going from large to small also. So a lot of kids ask me, well, I don't even know what a fluid ounce looks like. So there's a, some real-world connections that you can make. Most of them, again, are going to be food-based for, for um for me because that's a little bit easier. Um, so if you've ever had any kind of liquid cough syrup or any kind of liquid Tylenol or Tylenol Motrin or anything like that, you have looked at, um, they usually have fluid ounces as a measurement. They also have milliliters, but that's metric. But um, fluid ounces would be like these little tiny medicine cups. So cough medicine is measured in fluid ounces. And then measuring cups, I actually don't have mine because I broke it by accident, but um, you've probably measured with measuring cups before when you were baking with your family or if you've done any canning uh, a lot of times the canning jars will have um, cups on the side or ounces so here's ounces and cups so right here is one cup pints my favorite pints of ice cream so you've probably experienced pints before if you've got one of these little um, smaller size containers of ice cream Quarts, so like the milk that I get for my family, like the almond milk, those come in one quart or 32 ounces because that's equivalent to that. Uh, and then of course gallons, which you guys probably do a gallon of milk. We don't do bovine dairy in my family, but we do distilled water comes in a gallon. So that gives you some um, ideas of what those measurements look like, which one's small, which one's large. Um, and of course, when we're doing our, me our measurement conversions, we're going to be looking um, at this little mnemonic right here, big to small times them all, S to B, divide with me. And we've been doing that for the last two customary units with length and with weight. So um, you're going to be using that same idea to help you know if you need to multiply or if you need to divide. So let's look over here. Um, this is an example of how you would use big to small using customary capacity. So if I ask the question, how many quarts are in six gallons? In this case, quarts quarts are smaller than gallons, so that would be six gallons. You ask yourself, well, if I know that I have six gallons and I'm looking for quarts, so six gallons equals how many quarts? Which one's big, which one's small? Gallons are big, quarts are small, so big to small, we times them all. And I know that there are four quarts in a gallon, so I'm going to take that six gallons, that's my known, and times it by my conversion units. Six times four is going to give you 24 quarts. So that helps us to know how to set that problem up. If we were going um, for an example problem of S to B, which is small to big, but S to B divided with me just rhymed better. So we ask how many gallons are there in 16 quarts? So we're going from big to small. So you ask yourself, well, what do I know? I know I have 16 quarts. What do I need to find? How many gallons? So we're going from small to big. S to B, you're going to divide with me. So there are four quarts in one gallon. That's my conversion units. 
And then I say, okay, what's my known? 16, what's my conversion units? Four, what's my operation? Divide with me, because I'm going S to B. 16 divided by four is gonna give you four gallons. So um, a little tip helpers, use gallon man. If you don't know which unit is smaller or larger, you can use the gallon man draw strategy in the land of gallon. Or you could use the Allen Milkman little poem to help you to figure out which one's large and which one's small. Um, as always, have any questions, message me. I'll talk to you soon. See you later, fifth grade. Bye-bye.